will increase. I want to remind you of something I said the other day. There's a guy named Rex Harrell who will be doing the main part of the uh, conference, which is tomorrow and Friday and Saturday. He's going to be doing a one-hour lecture on BRICS rating of those juices and what they mean in terms of the antioxidant content, the nutritional properties of Any those components, and letting us know how we can improve the presentation or what things you liked or didn't like. Um, you, you don't have to sign it or you know, just want to set it you know, by the water the soil. Yeah. Somehow it's no longer anywhere near as irritating to the roots. Okay? As a matter of fact, EM is used regularly in high sodic regions, you know, high salt soils in Mexico and especially in um, Pakistan. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this product in. They're going to probably They got a response doing it, but in time, they left with what's left over. What's that? You get all that stuff I believe you had a quick now. Yeah. Uh, uh, thanks, are you fine? Yeah. Back to the grass. Yeah. You mentioned uh, on that. I'm a permanent factor, so. We're very happy to have with us again this year Bruce Tania, who wowed crowds last year with his presentation. He's going to speak this year on why plants get in, why plants get diseases and, and insect attacks from the most fundamental level. Bruce operates Tanio Texas, a real bright light and a genius in this field. We're thrilled to have him with us. Please welcome Bruce Tanio. Thanks, John. 
We'll talk to you a little more later. This is law. I believe that the calcium is low. Rick's law, the calcium will be low. I, uh, okay, you're way out there. Now what are you going to do? I, I see you might hear that Rick's low, uh, pH low, potassium is low. That's you right. can bring that potassium up way up and still have low calcium. Right here, that's why they're here. So they're grown what? Fruit with ATV. With my high energy plant product. Those oranges were? These oranges. Those aren't the same oranges as those? Sure they are. Well, for at least another two months. Well, I've had a serious operation. Well, to be specific, I've had a kidney transplant. And now I am no longer considered an end stage patient. Acres USA was founded in 1971. We are well into our 36th year. In that period of time, we've printed thousands of pages of copy detailing the ins and outs of biologically correct agriculture. I've interviewed in Bolivia. I didn't know the group, so I didn't believe you. I'm sure there been a lot coming. So, you know, shortages all it's got. You know, are too many old leaves, too yellow. There's a problem here. There's, is it digestion? Is it mineral? Is there not enough old air in the soil? There's plenty of sunlight. So we brought some minerals to it. We have uh, elements, minerals, and trace elements all are in sea water, and they're continually available in sea life. Dr. Murray, whom I knew personally, was a medical doctor, physiologist, and a research scientist. He pioneered the study that also was coined by Dr. Murray. Dr. Murray theorized that malnutrition in plants, animals, and humans is a direct result of mineral and trace element deficiencies. He was troubled uh, as a young man when he first uh, graduated from medical school. With an adequate amount of organic matter, soil in the field gets healthy as it contains well-balanced nutrients essential to crop. actually have very, very promising cost-effective answers to cancer once it's in the, the runaway stage or it's in the early stage. It's uh, prostate cancer. Okay, hit that thing there. And when you're going to be taking magic bullets, um, is that Does your product raise bricks? Yes. Could you prove that if I asked you to? Uh, we have, uh, what we have is just, uh, you can archive. She liked the idea. She said, what am I going to do? I'm 80 almost or whatever. I don't need it. Well, I'm going to do it. Uh, If it weren't, wasn't for your computer skill, we'd all be in trouble. So thanks much for your help. Oh, well, you're welcome. Do you like working with Acres USA? Oh, it's, I do. Okay. And the book was written in 1955, and he was trying to tell everybody, if you start digging up radioactive metals that are designed to be way below the surface, giving off radiation, which will create topsoil. You better leave it where it's at. So you put it up at the top, it's going to be very deadly. It's going to be very poisonous. And in his book, he, I looked at that and said, that makes sense to me. And I understood the existence of 22 subatomic particles since about 1978. The nature of subatomic particles, all the research that's going in, 
by smashing electrons and protons together with all this energy and saying what happens is until about 98, I didn't know what it meant until I got this book, DNA and the I Ching. Well, I started studying superimposing acupuncture meridians. I have a much better understanding about genetic sequencing. And uh, genetic sequencing, for example. Yeah, just in case your brains aren't completely full, <laughs> in three days, <laughs> these world class speakers. Um, we're happy to have with us again Bob Kennard to tell us about how, in his life of farming, he's learned to trust in the national, nat natural process. Let's welcome Bob Kennard. It's a very small piece of this. The staff out there work very hard. They really care about what they do. And there's a few more back in Austin keeping the office going. And they really deserve a round of applause. Thank you. Close to a thousand. Over a hundred. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 